Welcome to Mrs. Lin's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make zongzi. Zongzi is eaten during Dragon Ball Festival or Duan Wu Jie in Mandarin Chinese. Although it is a seasonal food, but you can find it year round in major cities with large Chinese population. Zongzi comes in tetrahedral or elongated cone shaped wrapped in bamboo, banana, or large leaves. The fillings used for making zongzi vary from region to region, but the rice used has always been glutinous rice or sometimes called sweet or sticky rice. Also, depending on the region, the sticky rice may be either pre-cooked by stir-frying with soy sauce and other ingredients or soaked overnight in water. Some of the popular zongzi fillings are sweet bean paste, salted duck egg or salted chicken egg, pork belly, shredded pork or ground pork, Chinese sausage, shiitake mushroom, chestnut, and cooked peanuts. So today I'm going to show you how to make my mom's southern Taiwanese style zongzi, as well as a sweet version that's made with red bean paste. So let's get started. Here are all the ingredients needed to make southern Taiwanese zongzi. Please note that you may end up with extra meat left over depending on the size of the bamboo or banana leaves that you get. With the pork butt and pork belly, you can also simply exclude one or the other. Here are the ingredients needed to season the pork butt. Pork butt is very lean, so if you would like a less fatty version of zongzu, then you can exclude the pork belly. Here is to season the ground pork belly. Ground pork belly is very fatty and savory, so if you'd like to exclude the pork butt, you can do that as well. First start by cleaning the bamboo leaves. You will want to pre-soak the bamboo leaves in warm water overnight. Once they have finished pre-soaking, cut off the ends of the leaves and dry with the paper towel before use. You can then combine the pre-soaked sweet rice and boiled peanuts together. You will also only need half of the salted frozen duck or chicken egg as well. To easily slice them in half, simply use a string to slice them in half without them sticking as they would with a regular knife. Next, cube the pork belly along with the skin as it adds more texture to the dish. Then, half the shiitake mushrooms in advance. Let's begin by preparing the ground pork butt. Prepare your wok and add 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil in the sliced shallots. Fry the shallots until fragrant before you put in the pork butt. Once they are fragrant, add in the one pound of pork butt and fry for a few minutes to soak in the shallots. You can then add the one half cup of pickled turnip, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sugar, and one fourth cup of shrimp skin. For the cubed pork belly, add 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil and fry the 1 cup of shallots until fragrant. Then you can add the 1 pound of pork belly cubes and stir fry until the shallots soak into the meat. You can then add the half shiitake mushrooms, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice wine, and one tablespoon of sugar. Stir fry until all the ingredients have mixed well. If the pork belly is a little dry, add the juice left from soaking the dried shiitake mushrooms to add a little flavor and moisten the meat. Allow it to cook for 10 minutes so all of the flavor soaks into the meat.
Now that all the ingredients have been made, we can begin making the zongzu. Tie a string about two and a half feet long at a higher cabinet or wherever comfortable so you may easily tie the zongzu together. Tying it somewhere helps as your hands will be full handling the zongzu. So again, you uh, get your leaves. There's two sides to the leaf. There's a smooth side and then the rough side. The smooth side, you want the smooth sides on the top. And you take the two ends and you kind of cross it like this. And then the end will be at the end. And then you take the leaf, you kind of fold it in half, and then you pinch a tiny bit here right at the end. And then you turn it so the two top end is parallel to each other. And then you form a cavity right here. That's where you put your, your rice and the fillings right here. And you take some rice. Now you want it to kind of spread it out. at the bottom of this cavity. Now you start adding all your ingredients. You put some meat. You put your shiitake mushroom. You ground, ground brown pork, and then your egg. I use half of the egg because the size of the sleeves is kind of small. But you can use uh, one shiitake mushroom or half shiitake mushroom or quarter shiitake mushroom. You can also use half of the egg or one egg depending on how big your, uh, your uh, zongzi is going to become. Then you add some more rice on the top. Kind of pack, pack it down. Like so. Okay, pinch at the very end here. And then you fold the top down. While you're folding, pinch both sides down. This side and this side down and then fold it to either left or right. Like so. So then you use the string and then you wrap around twice. And after you make your second round, you tie it at the, tie a knot right here. Make it tight, but not so tight that it cracks the leaves. And then you want it to make a knot at the very top right here.
Once they are all done being wrapped, prepare a pot of boiling water to boil and further cook the zongzu. Allow them to boil for about 30 minutes. Prepare your wok with boiling water and place your bamboo steamer on top. When there is enough steam and the 30 minutes have passed for the boiling zongzu, transfer them into the bamboo steamer and steam for another 30 minutes. And then they're all done and ready to be unwrapped and eaten. Now the zongzi is made. It is best when uh, it's freshly made. Zongzi, if you have to reheat them, it's better to either steam them or hot boil them. You can also eat zongzi with pickled vegetables. Um, it cleanses your palate in between zongzi. If you want more flavor to your zongzi, um, you can always eat it with soy sauce or chili hot pepper to give it more flavors. I hope you enjoy watching me making zongzi today. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And happy Dragon Bow Festivals! Dong Wu Jie Kuai Le! Zongzi la!